Hi and welcome to another Chikigo Creations video. So today is a different one. Um, basically, I'll be walking you through the prep I've done for the art challenge I'll be doing in April and that is April showers. Now I don't know where this has come from or who came up with it. Um, last year I was just like searching up uh, different art challenges for every month because like I knew about Mermaid and Junicorn and like Inktober and stuff like that but I wanted some for other months um, just in case I couldn't do the more popular ones and I thought it would be cool to do less popular ones as well so I looked it up and I came upon I think it was like a tumblr post and this person had like compiled different like kind of hashtag art challenges and one of them was April showers I will put the photo up um, now and I will also link the um, post down below so you can find like the um, original one um, but yeah I don't know who came up with it so when I was like looking to see if maybe there were like prompts and stuff for it I couldn't find anything but I really like the idea of doing a rain theme painting um, every day in April which is the whole point of it April showers um, and I thought it'd be really cool to do that in coffees so the coffee I'll be using is Nescafe original like instant coffee now this was just the cheapest one I could find um, but I just wanted to go for instant because that's the simplest one to make I don't drink coffee so um, I needed instant because I don't have things to ground or anything and what I basically did like I did these test ones and I basically put the coffee in and I let it kind of like dehydrate so it's very gloopy in there this is just like a jar like a honey jar that I'm just reusing um because I wanted to have some like already there so I can just dip in and then just reconstitute as I want and I can still like do the coffee as well um so I did that so um what i did is first i figured out like how many tones and stuff i could get with the coffee and there's also videos out there with like people painting with coffee so i watched some videos just kind of get an idea of like what people were like having to go through when they were uh painting with coffee so i could get like quite light tones quite dark the darker you go though the stickier and thicker it becomes so that's something you want to be careful with and of course like as i go through i'll be able to talk to you guys more about that so i figured out like how i would want to paint her um and i've got some pencils here as well so i thought i would want to add some line art but um i didn't want to use it with a pen because that's really harsh so I thought I would use pencils so the pencils I've got it's um quite a selection and I don't know where most of these come from I only know the Derwent color soft one is of course by Derwent I've got dark terracotta um or C610 I don't know if the camera's picking it up it's kind of weird and dark today so the lighting's a bit off and I've also got this like random brown pencil from WH Smith and then I've got these two pencils by Adele. Adele is A D E L and is artist color. Um, 2300, and the lighter one is 383, and the darker one is 378. So, this is all the swatches I did, and I settled with like this kind of style. Um, so I kind of put it down and then like go over it and then the next thing I did with color is um, I did like the character design which I'll show you in a bit and I basically figured out how I, how I would want to color her so this was like the one I was most happy with and what I found is the darker I went because the cup coffee kind of gets slippery and sticky the pencil doesn't really stay on so I have to stay quite light for her and then maybe things around her might be slightly darker um, but I know since I want to be able to add detail I do need to stay quite light with her um, so that's how like I figured out that's her with like wet hair when it's a bit longer so I will show you like when I first started off I just kind of got this is my like swatch sketchbook and I wrote this out so that I could put the prompts down and then I was going to do all the thumbnails but I kind of hit a brick wall with that like it just wasn't really working out this is her final design um, I have this on tracing paper just because I wanted to have this in both sketchbooks um, 
so my plan is when I've figured out all the prompts I will write them down so what I've been doing I've been doing the thumbnailing digitally so I just have this like whiteboard thing um it's like from a calendar I just left the calendar because that's like was an old calendar but I've just been writing them down so if I don't like one I can rub it out or whatever so I can keep track at the moment as I'm filming this and this is Sunday um I'm literally filming this for Monday's video the day before I'm only on the 19th one and um there are 30 days in April so I really have to try to like crack things out um after I finished filming this video so I just like wrote everything on this whiteboard and yeah what I wanted to do is like to be able to have all the prompts finished be before the first of April to share it with you guys but I don't think that's going to be able to happen I don't know maybe it will maybe by Wednesday I'll be able to share my prompts um because basically I'm doing a story of a little girl enjoying or like having an adventure in on a rainy day so this is her like character design I tried to do a character turnaround as you can see it kind of just like it didn't go well but um in the thumbnails I've kind of gotten more used to drawing her so that's fine so that's what she looks like I think I'm going to name her Lana I didn't I honestly have no idea where that came from to be honest just it was the first name that popped into my head so yeah and then like underneath I thought it would be a good idea to draw her if, with some emotion so this is just her smiling it was more like a smirk because she's like looking to another way this is her maybe like surprise this is her like winking um this is her like kind of sad I don't know if she will be sad in the story but I just thought I would just draw her in different emotions and like this is her when she's dry because her hair is shorter but when she gets wet her hair does get stretched out like it would in the rain and on my previous sketchbook saturday video i did a little bit of practice like drawing umbrellas um doing a bit of perspective work because i did know i was going to have backgrounds in this so um Oh yes, and I will put a photo of the thumbnails I have so far up now. And I don't want you guys to like know the end of the story because like what I thought is if I am able to share the prompts, I'll just have like a few keywords that kind of made me think of the thumbnail or like to carry on the story. But you guys will have to follow along with the illustrations to know like how the story ends. Oh, and I forgot to say I will be using a Uniball Signal white gel pen for highlights. Um, that's normally what I use for highlights so um, so yeah so I want to be able to complete this very much so I can complete the story and I can have a really cute kind of like children's story at the end of it and um, I plan to if I do complete this challenge which I really do want to I will like have a zine um, I've seen people do that with like other challenges that they've done and I think that'll be really nice just a nice way to like document it and also make it available to you guys if you do want it because coffee paintings I'm pretty sure are not um light fast that's that's what I was trying to think of um yeah I'm pretty sure they're not light fast so I wouldn't sell the originals but um I think it'd be really cute for me to make a zine out of it and um yeah and it wouldn't just be the illustrations like I would have some writing with it um but I'm just going to work on the illustrations for this month and then I'll work on the writing afterwards um so yeah so the paper I'll be using is this Hobbycraft brand um watercolor like postcards and they're 300 gsms it's 15 sheets in a pack and they're a6 and acid free so that's what I did the tests on I thought it would be good to test on the paper the paper seems to deal with it quite well um so yeah that's what i'll be using um it's pretty good price to be honest for it i think what i'll do is when i've done the art challenge i will do a review on this um because then i mean painting on it like for 30 days that'll be a really good practice but from what i can see it will work well so that's good um so yeah so that's basically it the thumbnails um the picture of the thumbnail that i've put up in the video it probably won't be extremely clear but at the same time i still do want kind of like an air of mystery to it because i really don't want you guys to be able to know everything that goes on um and what i plan to do is i will not have daily videos that's too much um yeah i won't be able to do that at all um but what i will try to do is like maybe like film a set 
and then put that up so they'll be kind of compiled so for my um patreon videos i don't know if they will be in real time because that might make it way too long what there might be like clips of real time like frames in my patreon videos i'm not too sure um of course if you're like a patron you'll like find that out and i'll let you guys know kind of like how that will be with the first video but i don't want it to be too long so they might all have to be sped up but i might try to have some real time bits in my patreon videos and of course on youtube it'll be the same thing it'll be like a time lapse with my voiceover as usual just walking through like my thoughts and like how i did um for each illustration so yeah i do really want to do that of course we all know that the first of april starts on a wednesday so i guess i guess i'll just kind of do the videos like a weekly update and yeah and then i can do like a last video at the end of the month kind of showing all the illustrations or something so um yeah so that is that is what i've been working on over the past few days it is way stressful oh my word um it's great practice because i do want to do a graphic novel at some point in time and um it's it's good practice to be able to like kind of know what steps you have to go through when you're doing a story so i think it's a good idea if you do want to do a really like big project because my graphic novel that i want to do will be huge um and it's not just one story it's a it's a series of stories um it's a i think it'll be good for this year for me to like focus on doing lots of mini projects or mini stories i can especially use art challenges for that um so i really want to do this for inktober too and just have like mini stories and kind of like build up my skill level for making stories so that when it comes to me being able to work on my graphic novel um which is like a passion project because that's it means a lot to me to be able to get that story out there for you guys um it would be good for me to practice on small things like this so what i can say and i haven't even started it yet but i can tell you for sure i think it's really good to do your thumbnails before the month starts so you know what's going on um and start it sooner because i kind of gave myself i mean i did this maybe a couple weeks ago and then i had like another thing i had to work on so i kind of put it aside and then i only had a week to get the thumbnails done and I'm already kind of behind so definitely give yourself a little bit more time maybe like work on it a little bit here and there so when it comes to the month starting off you're not scrambling like I am now um so yeah that's that's it for now um oh I know for my YouTube people um, because like both of you guys are getting a real-time one for this because I'm just speaking to you But I know for my YouTube people this video will be out by the time April has already started I'm hoping by the time this video is out on YouTube that um, My prompts will all be done. They should be done and they will be shared um, You will see the prompts Either because if they're all done, I will put them at the end of this video for YouTube not for patreon because it won't be done by now um and i will have the prompt prompts up on instagram and facebook so if you don't see a picture at the end of this video know that the prompts didn't weren't good enough to put out there because like since it's kind of like going along with a story if the prompts don't make sense to put out for other people to use um i won't but i hope i want to be able to finalize them by the youtube video so i will let you guys know if you're seeing words at the bottom of the video saying that it didn't work out don't expect the picture but hopefully the the words won't be there on the video and um it would have worked out so yeah so i think that's it i hope the lighting was okay i had my lights on but it's really weird the the weather keeps on going from sunny to hailey and my camera doesn't like it so sorry about that if the ca if the um the lighting is a bit off but anyways um i don't want this video to be ridiculously long so i hope you enjoyed it um i hope you enjoy kind of seeing what i've done i would have loved to be able to like kind of show you guys 
how I was doing the thumbnails digitally but I haven't I don't have anything to fill my screen right right now um and yes yeah, so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already click that bell so you get notified whenever i upload a new video which is every friday on youtube and let me know if you guys are doing any challenges um in the comments down below i would love to see i know especially since like everyone is stuck at home and self-isolating that a lot of people have found themselves with free time so are you doing any art challenges or are you just working on projects that you've wanted to for like a long time so let me know down in the comments below like what's going on with you guys and i hope everyone is keeping busy um i know it's tough for a lot of people so hang in there and yeah if you want to please do join in on this art challenge so thanks for watching and i will see you guys next week bye